Now these are special. Hello everybody, Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now today's video is going to be short and sweet, but it is so sweet, that is right. I got an awesome gold and silver haul, and for the most part, it is all really, really nice high-end gold. I'm not talking about, you know, your run-of-the-mill 14 karat stuff, I'm talking about really nice and rich 18 karat gold, antique vintage bangles, really nice stuff. Now, everything you see here, I actually bought from the same family that I bought all of that Judaica from in the previous video. You can take a look at the card over here if you missed it. Now, that is something that I want to talk about, and that is what's really, really key to this business, being successful in this business, is being honest and honorable with your customers. Now, if you treat the people that you're buying from justly, and you give them a good deal, and I'm not talking about you know, giving them a higher rate or a better price. I'm talking about dealing with them justly in the sense where you are transparent with the transactions, you show them what you're doing when you're weighing things out, you don't do anything underhanded, and you simply, you treat them fairly, they will continue to use you as their go-to person to sell jewelry and coins and silver and gold and all that other stuff, and they'll refer to their friends. Now, these people, I bought coins from them. That's how I met them. They posted an ad on Craigslist, to sell their coins, I bought from them, and I treated them really fairly, and about six months later, they called me back to sell me all of that silver Judaica. Now, here we are, just a couple weeks later, and they decided that they were ready to get rid of a bunch of gold jewelry, and who did they call? Me. And the reason is because I always treated them fairly. And you can see, that ultimately made me win out, because I could have gotten a few extra bucks out of them, and that would have been it. But now, because I treated them fairly, not only do they win and I can sleep at night, but I also got extra business. And that is really, really important. Really important, especially in this business where uh, there are a lot of people that are quite underhanded. So anyway, with that uh, little business ethics lesson, uh, why don't we move on to the actual stuff that I bought. It is really, really nice. So first thing, let's get the silver out of the way. This is just one more piece of silver that was left over the, that they forgot to sell me last time. And it's basically just a napkin holder. It's uh, nothing super special, but it's about 125 grams. You can see it's marked right over here. Not too shabby. It's in really, really nice shape. It's got a beautiful rose. It's a very, very nice piece. Very nice piece. And uh, got that for, for a nice little deal. Now the rest of the stuff. Over here, you can see we've got a bunch of 14 karat jewelry. Now none of it's particularly special or anything like that. Um, so over here, I'll weigh it up just so you can see what I got. I got this little bracelet, broken necklace, one mismatched heart earring, a little hat pin. Now another important little, uh, little tip is when you're buying things like this, make sure you test both the pin and the clasp. Now the clasp, of course, I knew was not gold because I, te I tested it with a magnet, and of course it adhered to the magnet. So I did not weigh that when I paid for it. And a little charm, another little charm. This one's kind of cool, it's a little girl. Another little charm, and four rings. This one, actually, she told me that she had to have it cut off her finger when she was a kid. Uh, so that's a really interesting one. This one's pretty chunky. Really, really nice piece. And one with a couple little hearts. And one with a little stone. Really, really nice stuff. And we end up with 26.2 grams. Not too shabby. Really, really nice. Now. Now that is all the run-of-the-mill stuff. That's the stuff that you're used to. You're always gonna get 14 karat gold. Very easy to buy, very easy to sell, and that's that. But these four items, these bangles that you see here, now these are special. Now what makes these special is that these are actually from Morocco. These were bought in the 1970s in Morocco and were potentially made way earlier than that. 
and they are 18 karat gold and man are they absolutely beautiful. Now in a previous video which I'll link over here in the card, you'll see where I talk about the feel and the texture of gold and how to identify gold just by looking at it. And these are perfect examples of gold jewelry that you can just tell just by looking at it that it is an exquisite, exquisite 18 karat gold. These are mostly unmarked. They have some symbols, some kind of hallmark, but they're almost indistinguishable. Uh, they've been rubbed off over the years and, and dulled. Um, and I don't believe that they ever had any kind of like 18 karat gold or 750 mark. Um, and I'm not too familiar with the, with the hallmarks of Morocco, but I could tell immediately, not only that these were gold, but that these were gonna be very high carat gold. Of course, I tested them with the acids, and uh, they came up perfectly. I mean, let's take a look, if I can show you some up close. They're all a little bit different. You can see here, this one's a little bit more intricately designed. It's got a nice little clasp. Open that up, pull it apart, this one splits. You can see here there is a hallmark, but it's kind of indistinguishable from anything else. So that's a really, really nice one. This is a little bit more run of the mill. It's a little got got a little misshapen over the years. Still very nice. Another kind of more run-of-the-mill, but with really, really nice designs. Really nice designs. And last but not least, another small baby's bangle. These, I believe, were actually given usually traditionally at birth to the new baby girl. And man, look at that. Exquisite, exquisite design. Look at that shine. You can tell that that's gold right away, right away and we'll weigh them up. Let's take a look. Oops, gotta tear that out, zero. And we end up with almost 50 grams, almost 50 grams of 18 karat gold. That is absolutely phenomenal. Well, anyway, that about wraps it up. That is it, folks. I don't need to beat a dead horse right here. You saw it, you saw what it is, you saw what I got. And uh, of course, please feel free to uh, guess what I paid for it and what I sold it for, given today's silver price, gold price, and the fact that I got a 25% profit margin on this deal. Now, if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit that like button, it really, really helps me out. And if you liked it a lot, please feel free to share the video on social media. The more you share it, the more we spread the knowledge, the bigger we can grow the community. Now, if you are a subscriber, thank you very, very much for supporting my channel. And if you are not yet a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Come and join us in the Silver Picker Squad and hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like, feel free to check me out on these social media platforms. I post things there all the time before they hit YouTube, and sometimes I post more in-depth pictures of my hauls on Facebook, on Twitter, etc. So check me out there. And I hope you enjoyed everything. Until next time, Silver Picker out.